Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? I'm personally feeling quite tired. So after I'm done recording this video, I'm going straight to bed. So let's dive into the topic. I want to talk to you guys about Kabbalah and initiating in the first sphere, which is known as Malkuth. So whilst I am giving you guys my own experience of Malkuth, I will be referring to this book over here titled Kabbalah. This is a great book to get to get by the way because it is a beginner friendly book it even says so on the cover it says the ultimate guide for beginners wanting to understand hermetic and jewish kabbalah along with the power of mysticism so this book is by mary silver and i will be referring to this book as i make more videos talking about the different spears in the sephiroth so today the spear I'm going to be talking to you guys about is Malkuth. Now, before I even start talking about Malkuth, I just want to read to you guys a quick introduction as to what Kabbalah actually is so that you can get a rough understanding before we dive into the Sephiroth known, or sorry, the spear known as Malkuth. So here we go. The Jewish people have Kabbalah, as their way to understand how man and God are connected and how God relates to the world. For many centuries, Kabbalists have continued to dive into the Kabbalist teachings about who God truly is and what we owe God as humans. Unfortunately, some assume that Kabbalah is something only a few initiates can get to know. But that's not the case. Kabbalah offers two kinds of secrets. The secrets not in the public awareness, which, as soon as they are revealed, are seen for the illusions they are, so that all the mysteries they once held are gone. Then, there are the actual secrets right there for you to see yourself. When the later secrets are mined for more truth, all you find is more depth and profundity. These secrets become richer and richer and they light up the world. These are the actual secrets of Kabbalah. They aren't so secret after all. And now I just want to read you something on the next page, which I also think is important for you guys to know. Here it says... Kabbalah isn't about what you may have heard. There are weird websites that tell you that Kabbalists are a cable of people involved in child sacrifice and sex rituals. This is certainly not the case. Kabbalah offers meaning to your existence. It helps you understand that you're not alone and we're all one and connected. And God, the Ein Sof, the unknowable, which has made itself knowable through its divine attributes called the Sephiroth. All right, great. So let us get into the topic of Malkuth. Sorry, guys, I just want to turn to the right page here so that when I do refer to Malkuth, I have it right here in my, in my arms or in my grasp. Let me rather say that. So Malkuth has to, in my opinion, deal with the physical dimension, the material realm, associating with the earth element. So it's literally everything to do with your five senses, taste, touch, hearing, smell, etc. Most people are in Malkuth, especially with this time period that we're in, known as the Kali Yuga, where there's all this destruction energy and this negative energy most people are not going to initiate further than Malkuth because they just don't have the spiritual energy in order to climb up the tree of life within this lifetime. So most people that you see in the world today are stuck in Malkuth. Now, 
a typical example of this would be someone who follows the manuscript of life you know they go to school they go to college they get a job they get married buy a house raise children and that's it you know they don't really question life they don't really have a perception outside of being a human so things like the paranormal when you talk about spirits and gods and deities you know they just don't have that type of awareness so they're very grounded in reality so i was once in the sphere of course and i know exactly what it's like you tend to be focused mostly on materialistic gain so wanting to make a lot of money wanting to buy a house wanting to go to college get a car you know that's all very um malkuth type energy is manifesting physical riches but as you travel up the tree of life you know you follow the archetype of the world then you get into what's known as the spear of your soul which has to then do with your subconscious mind. So your soul deals with the the moon and that's a lot of water energy so your sub, your subconscious mind and you know when people first have their spiritual awakenings they usually tend to learn about things like astral projection and lucid dreaming that's all your soul energy energy and they start learning about their spiritual bodies you know their astral body their mental body their casual body their light body etc so but i will make a video of course on your soul separately at each sphere i will make a video on individually so i can give a detailed explanation of of these spheres so as people awaken they then start learning about the astral plane and lucid dreaming and all these types of things taking them out of the sphere of malkuth and now their their perception of life expands you know they start learning about the paranormal and everything that goes on in different dimensions parallel worlds and you know they start trap they can even start traveling to these parallel worlds in their sleep so here is this book's definition of what Malkuth entails. In this book it says that this sephira represents your result, the fruit of all your hard work. Malkuth is tied with the Sabbath day, which makes sense. Once you have received your reward, you have nothing to do but to rest, which is what the Sabbath is for. So for me this sounds like material gain you know you work hard for a living and then you you know you save up money and then the, you buy the things that you that you desire whether it's a house a car raising a family you know you you work hard and then you enjoy the fruits of your labor you manifest your your material gain um and your physical pleasures now the angel that is associated with Malkuth if you want to initiate into Malkuth is known as Sandalphon. In this book it says that Sandalphon corresponds to the Malkuth Sephira and oversees the class of angels known as Ishim or Ishim meaning men like beings. So if you're interested in initiating into Malkuth it's probably a good idea to invoke this angel and this angel can help you with this spear. So that is the video for today talking about Malkuth which is the physical plane associated with the earth element and I will see you guys I hope you enjoyed this video first of all I will see you guys in my next video like I said this book here known as Kabbalah by Mary Silva I suggest you guys get it if you are a beginner and wanting to learn about Kabbalah all right, so other than that, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.